when you have your phone connected to the car, this system will actually be able to save multiple f cell phones, not just one. So if you're switching off, uh, you know, who's driving with your significant other or partner, you can basically go in and store a, an additional phone. So we can do that by clicking the phone button. You'll bring, it'll bring you to the Bluetooth menu. Then we're going to go over to settings. Um, from there, we're going to click connection. And it's going to bring you to a list of the different phones that are connected to the car. Currently, mine's the only one. At this point, we can click add a new. And it's going to ask to connect. So we're going to click yes. Uh, at this point, it was disconnecting my phone, and now it is searching for, multiple, uh, for other devices that can connect to the car. So at this point, we're going to pull up the Bluetooth menu on an additional phone. So here we have on screen, we're going to go ahead and click the car multimedia. And now on the navigation screen, we'll see that it is beginning to connect. It says connection waiting completed, completed, and now you are connected. We now have two phones uh, tied to the same device. So we're, here we have my phone and the secondary phone. Now you can choose who's going to be connected. You know, that's going to be who's driving the car, of course. So now if we wanted to go back to the first phone, my phone that we had saved, we're just going to click it and we're going to click connect. It'll disconnect the other device and connect to the first one. Uh, now you'll want to do that, of course, anytime you uh, switch drivers. If you want the driver's cell phone to be connected, you would have to select it because the system would only be able to pair with one phone at a time. 